morning, Alfred Street. My name is Ayala Penick, and I would like to talk to you about a good friend of mine. This friend has forced me to think, challenged me to be a better person, and has celebrated me when I was at my personal best. Now, this relationship has always been smooth and has been very difficult at times. But through this relationship, it has given me the confidence to understand many different concepts and ideas. My good friend's name is mathematics. <laughs> Early on in elementary and middle school, my friend and I, math for short, <laughs> struggled to build our relationship. We spent time together studying, hanging out on homework assignments, and things became really serious when we started taking tests together. <laughs> <laughs> I gave my friend nicknames, you know, like geometry and algebra. But I always had an uneasiness and anxiety about my good friend, and I did not know why. Even though we spent so much quality time together studying, our fear always came over me when I saw long equations or difficult test questions on the board that would attempt to expose all of my weaknesses. I began to see something working its way into my wonderful friendship that I built with my good friend, Matt, and that something was fear. <clears throat> the Bible tells us about Moses and how he had to face many of his own fears, but we sometimes overlook many of the fears he had to overcome. If anyone knew or dealt with fear, it was Moses. But let's fast forward a bit to Moses' conversation with young Joshua and all of Israel, where he gave them some of the best advice given in the Bible. In Deuteronomy 31.6, he tells them to be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. <clears throat> in my final year of high school, I took college algebra at Howard University. The professor forced me to sit in front of the class because she knew I would be completely comfortable singing the last row of her class. <laughs> One day, she asked me to complete a problem with my friend Math on the board. See, before I knew, before I went to the front of the classroom, I had completely remembered to pray and ask God to allay all the fear that kept me from sitting in the back of her class in the first place. <laughs> With that prayer, I allowed God to be in complete control of my situation, and this had allowed me to relax, take my time to work through the algebra problem, and finish it. As David would say, I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. <laughs> The problem that I completed on the board was correct. Right. And that testimony has stayed with me ever since. My friendship with math forced me to recognize and face my fears. Math taught me that however hard the problem may be, there was always a way to work it out. Yeah. You see, Alfred Street, just because we make fear part of the equation, it doesn't make it the final answer. Yeah. <laughs> And when we don't know the answer, there is always one way, one factor we can put into the equation, God. We need to learn to make God the common denominator in any situation or problem we may face. In Isaiah 41.10, reminds us to fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I am happy to say that because of God, I conquered my fear of math. 
and I've been accepted into several colleges and universities, as well as being a Gates Millennium Scholarship finalist. Street. My friend Matt has taught me that how to solve some of the most difficult equations in my life. The answer to anxiety and worry is God. The answer to fear is God. The answer to your equation of hurt, shame, sickness, or whatever problem that comes your way is and always will be God. Church, the equation is as simple as one plus one equals two. You plus prayer equals victory in Jesus Christ. I'll say that again. You plus prayer equals victory in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Daily prayer is more than just talking to God. Prayer is faith. Prayer is trust. Prayer is forgiveness. Prayer is love. Prayer is grace.